The death of Wes Leonard has left the entire Fenville community in shock. 24 Hour News 8 Steve Kelso shows us how the residents are mourning this sudden loss. And Bill Michigan's coming to grips with the storybook story with the worst of all possible endings. This day could not have been any darker for the little town of Fenville. The orange and black run deep in this town's blood, and the tragic death of Wes Leonard has chilled that blood like the cold March rain. And then people start to realize what has happened, and um, we know that something bad is going on. Christy Vanderbach was at the game last night cheering on her son, a teammate of Wes Leonard's. The grief is so fresh, she's left with a nagging question. It's like, now what? Now what? She remembers Leonard as a kid who gave it his all. Whatever he did, he did it hard. He played it as hard as he could and played it well. The town's a totally different town today. It's, um, it's really sad. Don Sailors knew Wes well. Every day he would stop at this subway, including last night, before the last regular season game. It's going to be hard seeing the team come in here now without him being with them. Yeah. They called Wes Lettuce Boy here at the subway. Always the same sandwich, always extra lettuce. His football team sent this photo to the folks here to thank them for a giant sub. I've never seen the town like this. I've lived here my whole life and never seen a town mourn. In Fenville, Steve Kelso, 24-Hour News 8.